This first look is my kawaii cutesy look, probably more of a daytime look, and for this I would wear Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Kirk John. It's an oriental floral with notes of jasmine, saffron, ambergris, amberwood, fir resin, and cedar. Of the three looks, this one is probably the most sweet and fun, but I still think it is interesting enough for a daytime Valentine's expedition and probably the safest on my list. My next fragrance recommendation would be Gothic by Lori Rodkins, which is an oriental featuring vanilla pod, Madagascar vanilla, spice, Indian patchouli, and patchouli. Overall, it is probably the most alluring or sort of va va boom, I put a spell on you sort of smell. It's definitely grounded by the patchouli and it does give you an incense vibe, but there's something deeper about it and it definitely works, I think, with a nice darker aesthetic and for a nice nighttime setting that might be a little bit more romantic in nature. I had to do at least one untraditional red look and for this look I have chosen Close Up by Olfactive Studio. It's an oriental vanilla with green coffee, spice, cherry, white tobacco, patchouli, cedar, rose, amber, musk, and tonka bean. It's probably the most daring and complex but it also has a cozy side. It's sweet but not childish. It's mature, but not overly sophisticated. Someone more youthful in style would still be able to pull it off. I think it works well with this sort of pop punk type of look. It's not all bright colors, but it's not all dark as well, despite the zombie dress. And I think close up would be great for a close encounter of someone to smell with something with so many different facets. But thank you for watching. I hope this was interesting and I would love to do more like this in the future. Happy Valentine's Day.